Hello friends and hello family. It is me, Roxy. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this kind of vampy Valentine's Day look. It is February and that means that Valentine's Day is just around the corner and it's also Black History Month. Do not forget. So if you want to see how to get this kind of vampy Valentine's Day, I'm going to sit in my room alone and watch Netflix and binge on chocolate kind of look, please keep watching. For this look, I already did my base and my contour, so I'm going to be first going in with blush and it's Pop by Tarte. Then using Sunburst from the first glow kit, I'm going to be applying that. I want it to look super glowy for this look because like the vampires from Twilight, like Edward, kind of had that like natural shimmery glow, you know? So that's what I was going for. Then going in with the newest glow kit, I'm using a good mix of Sunray and Snow. Then I'm going in with Golden Dawn from the palette and I'm also applying that. For my nose highlight, I went in again with Sunburst and throughout my whole highlight routine I was just using this highlighter brush that's from Tarte. If you're curious to what they're all, all these products are, I'll link them, I'll link everything in the description. Just for, you know in case. And once I'm satisfied with the amount of freaking loads of highlighter I put on, I'm going to be starting on my eyeshadow and I'm going in with some eyeshadow primer by Urban Decay. And I'm going to be using one of my favorite palettes. It's by Morphe and it is the 350S, I guess that's what it's called. 350S or something. I don't know. But I'm going to go in with this kind of shimmery light pink color and I'm putting that all over my base. On me, these colors kind of came out a little darker than I expected, but it all came together in the end, so that's okay. Then going in with this kind of brown, reddish, shimmery color, I'm going to be putting that on the outer corner of my eyelids. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. And blending it into my crease using this e.l.f. brush. Then I'm going back in with the first pinky shimmery color I used and using that to blend everything together. And I just wanted to show you how I did the other eye because it was kind of hard to see how I did the other eye. If, you know, yeah, you know, it was, I don't know, I just want to show you how I did both eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you just gotta blend, 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 blend away until your hand just can't blend no more. Until your hand has been blending its whole life and it worked and built a house and raised a family. You just gotta keep blending and blending. And for my inner corners, I'm using this kind of shimmery, lighter color. It's lighter, it's just a lighter pink. I don't know, but I'm putting that in my inner corners just to give me a little more oomph, you know? A little more wake up, girl. But yeah, and I'm using that color to blend everything out. Once I'm satisfied with my eyeshadow, I'm going to be starting my eyeliner. And I'm using the Kat Von D Eyeliner Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm just going to be doing my typical eyeliner routine. And finally, those are my wings. They could cut someone, they could cut your man, they can cut someone, they can just cut anyone, okay? Yes, yes, yes. And then for my lips, I'm gonna be first using some Aquaphor so I don't look super crusty. 
Then for lip liner, I'm going to be using Cherry by MAC. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, it's pretty lit. And I'm just going to be using that to outline my lips. Then for liquid lipstick, I'm using Kat Von D's. Hmm, what's this thing called? No tattoo. No, no, no. I don't know what it's called. Oh my god, I suck. It's a really difficult name. It's probably not that difficult. I just can't read. But I'll link it in the description. I swear, I promise, and you can get it there. It's a really cool dark color, and I'm just using some concealer and a flat brush to kind of make it look like I don't suck at doing lips. Like I'm so bad at doing precise lines. I don't even know how I do eyeliner. Ah, But yeah, I'm just using some concealer to clean up the edges a little bit. And then going back in with my Kat Von D liquid lipstick and just doing my top lip. And once I'm satisfied with the lips, I am very happy because it's over. And now I get to move on to mascara and I'm almost done. So after I curl my eyelashes, I just go in with my Their Real Mascara Primer. And then I go in with the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. It's pretty cool mascara. It's pretty lit. It's pretty dope. Works good. And then going in with the Their Real Mascara by Benefit, of course. And I'm just putting that over and over and over on until I have some spider lashes. Then using Great Lash Mascara, I'm putting that on my bottom eyelashes. And then going in with my NYC Liner, and I'm just putting that on my eyelashes so it doesn't look like I have blonde ombre eyelashes on the top. Because that's what happens when I do my eyeshadow. And finally... Here is the finished look! Yes, very glowy, very vampy, very what the heck is this? But like, I like it, maybe you should like it. You could wear it on a date, wear it to, wear it to a wedding, I don't know. Wear it in your room alone, take some selfies, make people think you're going out somewhere. Make people think you have a hot date, I don't know. But you know what, it's a pretty cute look. So if you feel like biting some necks this Valentine's Day, not that, and not in that way, oh my god, but you know what I mean? Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go now, bye. Hey, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends, and thank you so much for watching.